In uh, Introduction to Engineering Design, you learned, of course, about the Engineering Notebook. You practiced the Engineering Notebook. But we just want to have a refresher for Principles of Engineering on what the Engineering Notebook is, why it's important, and how to fill it out and complete it correctly. Uh, the Engineering Notebook should be a source of pride for you. And uh, so let's just go ahead and review real quickly why um, and what the Engineering Notebook is. So here, as it says, formal document, chronologically order of all the work that you're doing um, that needs to be recorded uh, for each one of your design projects that you're going to be producing here in uh, Principles of Engineering. And these are important. Engineers maintain these notebooks uh, for all important projects. And of course, the recordings have to be by hand. So what are we going to record? All your written ideas. You're going to write down all your ideas. So don't just think about, you think about something, it might be important, it might be pertinent, write it down. Sketches. We need sketches. You need sketches. Sketches tell a lot of information. You need to include the sketches. And they need to be annotated. What does that mean? They need some description, not just a bunch of little squiggles, but some words that go along with those squiggles to say what that squiggle is because one squiggle might look pretty much like another squiggle to the viewer or somebody that you're working with or your boss or maybe your boss's boss but to you that squiggle had a little zigzag shape whereas the other z squiggle had like a little s shape and they were very different squiggles for you and uh, you need to make sure that people understand that by annotating them label them uh, the summaries of your work sessions. You know, we started at, you know, on such and such a date, we started at this time, and here's what we tried to get done, here's what we did get done. Um, these are your summaries. Research findings. From time to time, you're going to get stuck, or maybe it's going to be required that you actually go out and talk to somebody. Who are those somebodies? Well, you might talk to me, you might talk to your fellow classmates, you might talk to engineers or experts. You might talk to you, your father, parents, uncles, whoever. Um, when you go out there or and do some research, and besides people, there's the internet, of course. You might be looking on the, inter the internet for different ideas on how to accomplish a task. Who was it you contacted? When was it? What did you discuss? And what did you learn? Write it down. It may seem super fresh in your brain and like, I'm not going to forget this. That was the most amazing discussion I ever had on an engineering topic. It'll be seared into my consciousness for the rest of my life. Write it down. You'll never know. Uh, you might forget. You might uh, want to refer back to that. It's important. Write it down. All right, so let's talk about our layout. We're going to use graph paper, okay? Uh, graph paper is the paper for engineers. This is what we engineers uh, work on and use, and it helps keep your work neat, orderly, and organized. So as it's called here, quadrile. If you're looking it up on the internet and you're doing a search, uh, it might go under graph uh, paper or quadrile lined paper. Not college, not wide ruled, no, quadrile. All right, so that whole little yellow section there, quadrile. Um, you need to number all the pages. Every single page gets a number, and of course they're sequentially numbered. The we've got to have a little area there for your designer. So sometimes you guys get carried away, and you keep going and going and going all the way down to the bottom of the page, and now there's no room for the signature. All right, go to the next page. Make sure you leave room down there for the designer's signature and date. That's you. Also, a witness. We need a witness. One of your classmates, the kid sitting next to you, maybe a kid sitting on the table in front of you or behind you. We need a witness, and of course, they need a witness for their work. So, trade notebooks, you sign off on their work, they sign off on your work. Include a date. All right. Um, location for identifying contents is a continued form. Um, don't worry about that as much. Um, we are going to, I want you to use the top of the page for that. Um, make sure that the top of the page, when you title it, you're saying this is continued from, you know, this is a, um, this is a project 
1.2 or this is the uh, birdcage project or this is the rat trap project or whatever it is um, we want to make sure that's actually at the title at the top of the page uh, and then the proprietary nature of the notebook we'll talk about that some other time but um, just basically it's a little idea about you know that this is proprietary this is so someone copies that page it says on there right there boom this is belongs to you all right um, we won't have to add that if you don't get a notebook that already has that um, I won't require you to add that but it is important for uh, legal documents like engineering notebooks all right so here's some of our standards for our engineering notebook like I said you n must sequentially number the pages in ink upper top outside edge of the page all right so the upper right upper left upper outside edge okay not at the bottom not on the inside thank you all right next one the, these are, have to be bound notebooks so <laughs> here's a little picture of somebody actually binding a notebook you notice it's like a he's sewing it together or she's sewing it together so bound notebooks have thread sewing them together if you get those kind they're just glued on the edge and they're designed to be ripped out they fall apart on you all right and they're not going to be good for the long run you don't want to use those you want to use ones that are sewn together bound all right that way no pages can be added no pages can be removed without disrupting the binding we do not remove pages from the engineering notebook all right when pages are being removed or pages are being added um, it doesn't have the gravitas it doesn't have the power of a notebook that doesn't that that you can't do that on okay so those are important uh, we've got to store the notebook in a safe location I don't know if you have shelves like this in your home but the notebook comes to class every single day and uh, you need to keep up on it and you need it because it's not just recording your work and your work is very very important but also I'm gonna be looking at it for your grade when the notebook is full of course you start a new notebook and archive the old one that probably won't happen this year I don't think anyone's gonna finish their notebook but if you did you would we have to label all the figures and calculations so this is a picture actually that's been a student took of their design and which is fine you guys I highly encourage you guys to take pictures and post them in there um, and of course then add some information about that picture uh, if you ever open up a magazine or a newspaper and you look at there's a picture of this what do you instantly do you look at the picture and you want more information you look at the caption you look to see what the, what's this picture about where was this picture taken what the heck is going on here who are these people right so yes there are calculations here on this page Ooh, these are simple calculations of division uh, division multiplication a little bit of algebra um, you need to show your calculations you need to show your mathematical work to get full credit and to be properly documenting your work so calculations are important so do we start at the bottom no 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 we start at the top of course we start at the top we start on the left and we work top to bottom and of course left to right we all know that do not use markers they will bleed through they will be ugly okay pens 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 you can use pencils for some of the sketches but overall uh, most of the work should be in pen all the writing should be in pen and anything you uh, that picture I was just talking about or uh, maybe a worksheet that I give you that you're you fill in and then that goes in there needs to be permanently attached so what here's our options we've got glue sticks got double-sided tape makes a very nice look uh, and of course regular scotch tape these are your three options not staples do not use staples staples are bumpy they are not smooth they leave little you know a little bump that can disturb things later on they make the notebook stick up a little bit you know they don't lay flat no staples okay glue sticks double stick tape or scotch tape so the glue sticks and the scotch tape of course I have that in class um, you can of course bring your own the double stick tape if you want that you need to provide that for yourself but it is pretty slick 
it, it looks pretty good in your notebook when you use the double stick tape. All right, clearly indicate the date for each entry. So here's a little sketch. Notice there's a little bit of annotation here. All right, so they annotated what they were doing. Okay, because um, there was something wrong here. There was a problem. They drew the sketch. They found out there was a problem there, and they annotated it. Okay, include more information. It's always better. So where's our date? Here's our date right here. So sometimes you start at the top of the page every, on a day, but sometimes you'll be starting in the middle of a page or somewhere in the middle of a page, so date it, right? Keep track of when you did that work. Next, do not erase or remove. Everything you wrote down, everything you did, even if it was a mistake, is important, all right? You don't want to be erasing things or crossing them out and obliterating them so that nobody can read them. Whiting out, no, 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 no. All right? It ruins the integrity of your notebook. This notebook has more integrity. They just crossed it out and with a single line. They put their initials there that they were the ones who made that change. They initialed the change. And uh, if it needed some extra words or different words, those could have been written there uh, above or below or on the margin or maybe in the next paragraph. Keep the mistakes. The mistakes are important. They tell us how not to do it in the future. All right, we want to be consistent about our recording methods for ideas, reference, test results, and sort, and etc. You can get better, of course. I don't mind you getting better, but um, and uh, but we want to be consistent in our methodology so that we see that throughout the notebook. Each page is signed and dated by you, by your witness. Yes, yes, yes. You need to sign it and date it. Your witness or your colleague um, or so forth. It can be a mentor also in many situations. In our classroom, I don't have time to sign everybody's notebook. I'll be signing them as I grade them. All right, but uh, have somebody else, one of your other fellow students, sign and date your notebook also. At the bottom, make sure you leave space. Lots of students forget that. They forget that that's going to be there. All right, thank you very much. Go ahead and go to where the questions are located and answer those questions.